This video is brought to you by Professional Photographers of America. Hello? I'm here. Alright, bye. Right. Shooting with the Sony A7 IV, 85 1.4 Sigma. And I've got that prism lens effects uh, anamorphic style filter. Show, show me the accessories, babe. What do we got? We have these triangle earrings. Got, we got a wig, and the wig adds so much to this. How much was the catsuit? You don't want to know. Just, oh, just wait, oh, because, oh, I got gotcha. you. For this setup, I'm using five Nanolite Pavel tubes and reflective paper that I bought on Amazon. I wanted the lights to frame her and make it look like Diana was standing in the hallway of a spaceship. I even cut out a piece of the paper and placed it in front of Diana on a posing stool to create a reflection of her and to also act as a light reflector. Aim the gun at me. Look at me like I didn't pick up my clothes from the bathroom floor. Babe, you never pick up your clothes from the bathroom. Hey, relax. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm gonna put the light I'm gonna put the light like almost directly above you. Watch. Kind of like this. Yeah, I'm gonna. Now I'm getting more uh, shadows right there on your cheekbone, creating shadows because it's coming from above. So this is the. This is not really doing anything right now, is it? No, it's not really doing anything. But at least it fits the the aesthetic I'm going for, which is like metallic and silver. Oh yeah, this is way more dramatic. Oh yeah, this is so much better. I like the other one, but this one, you don't have much light in your eye, though. that's the only problem. Now you can lose the gun if you want. <laughs> First, I had the Pavel tubes facing inward so that half of the light could bounce off the background and half could be lighting Diana. But then I made a small adjustment and faced them towards the camera so that it can make the beams of light look larger. And it made a nice difference in the final outcome. Before we get into the second look of this photo shoot, I wanna tell you about my sponsor today, and that's PPA, Professional Photographers of America. You may not realize how beneficial it is to be a member of PPA. Like I said before, they offer so many benefits like $15,000 worth of equipment insurance that's included in this membership. Along with that, PPA has updated the policy so that you can also get full replacement coverage with a flat $350 deductible, or you can repair your equipment for a flat $50 deductible. PPA also offers data loss prevention services for its photographers. PPA's education platform has also been upgraded, featuring over 900, 900 plus online videos and tutorials. Seriously, take a look at the link in the description box. Use that code for a discount on your membership. So they're not gonna be perfectly symmetrical. But, okay. This one needs to be farther in, so it's gonna cross across, it's gonna go across her body. This one, same thing. They're gonna cross through her, let's see. Um, I'm changing the colors, we're going for more of like a cyberpunk theme. Cyberpunk is a lot of like pinks and purples and blues. Um, I put an extra Pavel tube back here on the floor bouncing off here just to add a little bit more pink because this is definitely a like a blue dominated uh, photo here because even my main light up there is blue. One thing I've noticed with these cameras is that when, when you start using RGB colors, um, it, the, uh, the autofocus stops working well.
Turn it to your side. But we bring your elbow out and turn to the side. Yeah. You go one, two. Ooh. Oh, I like these a lot. Now look up like the spaceship is uh, coming to rescue you. Over there. Like that. Can we get the couple gunshots with the cyberpunk thing? Put both hands like this. But put the, yeah, now, yep. One, two. Love it. We've got, um, okay. Before we get into <clears throat> photographers of them, okay. wait. <clears throat> Let's see what that looks. Let's see what that looks like. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna get a tighter. Where, what what happened here? We're gonna, now we change the, the okay. Huh? Supposed to record it like this. The only problem with adding a mirror for the models is that they're just gonna stare at themselves the entire time. You gotta remind them to look into the camera. Is it just me or is it models? Please be honest. Uh. 